Coronavirus is most certainly the top health story around the world right now, but unfortunately that doesn't mean that other big medical issues like heart problems disappear. Doctors are worried that's the picture that's being painted. And WPTV News Channel 5's Eric Areco has the latest on this. There's no denying coronavirus has flooded hospitals, emergency services, and the hearts and minds of everyone. But fear appears to be the worst side effect. Just the way you would have gone to the ER, just the way you would have called 911 on any other given day, do that, please. Because time is muscle. Time is brain. If you're having a heart attack or a stroke, those things are still very important. Dr. British Armani, an interventional cardiologist with Tenet Healthcare's Delray Medical Center, says he has seen a 40 to 60 percent drop of patients coming in. He attributes it to patients worried they could contract COVID-19 in the hospital. And I think it's a fear factor with the with the fact that, you know, maybe this will just go away. Maybe I'm not having a heart attack and the denial part kicks in. It's human nature uh, to do that. So I I would not shy away from seeking medical care just because you're concerned that you may wind up getting something that you don't have at this point. Like Dr. Manny, most physicians are offering telemedicine right now, making them perhaps even more accessible to evaluate you faster than ever before. Dr. Manny says reaching out with any concerns won't increase the likelihood of you having to leave quarantine for care. It could actually help keep you healthier at home. And this is a device called the Whiter Patch that people can put on for a week and we know what your heart rate is, what your EKG looks like, what your pulse ox is. You fall down, you're almost about to fall down. It's almost like you're in the hospital and somebody's watching over you. Again, you cannot do this for the rest of their lives, but in certain situations, it's an option. In this uncertain time, Dr. Manny reminds hospitals are prepared to keep patients safe, so don't suffer at home. He says non-COVID cases are handled on different floors with a different set of medical staff caring for you. We are still here. We are still taking care of patients. Those other disease states have not gone away. They're not going away, unfortunately. 